Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be running the indoor 200 meter. The meet I will be running is called the Karsten Warholm International. Karsten Warholm has his own meet. I ran there last year and I will be running there again this year. This meet is arranged on Karsten's birthday and you will probably notice a couple of times in this video. I think it's going to be fun, so enjoy! So it is 8 a.m. and two days till Karsten Warhol International. Right now I'm just doing a little bit of a warm-up before we go to the university. And then a little bit later today I'm going to have block starts. So it's a nice day here in Stavanger. We actually got to see the sun today. It's been a while since last time. <laughs> so that was nice, but it's very cold though. I had a pretty good session, had a couple of good starts. We only did four times 30 meters block starts and started off a little bit slow, but then I got some pretty good starts at the end of the session. And I think I'm pretty ready for Friday when we are running the Carson Warholm International. So we have arrived in beautiful Ulstein Vik and see who we have here. Frederick, how are you feeling? Good. <laughs> Good as always. And he is running the 400 and I'm going to run the 200. Now we're going to go and check out the hall, stadium. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about uh, the track? Top. <laughs> Top. We're going to run here. No. In the snow. We're going inside. What are you doing today, Frederick? Jogging. I think I'll just move my body a little bit. So we are here 
and Eva. How's your vlog going? If you guys remember me from some of Matthias' last vlogs, I decided to make my own because I didn't get enough attention in Matthias' vlog. <laughs> so yeah, go in and check mine. So Evan has started his own vlog, so you should check that out. And uh, yeah, we're here. And we're just going to shake out a little bit, do some easy jogging maybe, and just uh, get the blood flowing. Okay, so that was our off day, or his preparation day, and that was my off day. After our preparation session, we went back to the hotel and played a little bit of table tennis. I started off pretty good with the first point, but Frederick came back with not one, not two, not three, but four points. And that was a lead I would never catch up to. The table was super small, which made it pretty fun to play on, but also pretty frustrating. So we are back from the training session and we are ready to eat some di <laughs> so we are back from our training session and we are ready to eat some dinner. Okay guys, so this day has come to an end. We've mostly just been traveling and uh, been getting ready for tomorrow. We went on a little trip to the store and bought some drinks for tomorrow and some bananas. And uh, yeah, I think we're ready for tomorrow. What do you say, Frederick? Ready. He's going to run. <laughs> He's going to run the 400 against 400 meter hurdles world champion Karsten Warholm and indoor 400 meter world champion Pavel Maslak. So yeah, he's going to get some hard guys to run against. <laughs> and I'm going to run against the same guys as I did on the Norwegian Championships final, but also Evan Mindset who won the 60 meter. And uh, I think he's in good shape, so it's going to be fun. He's got in lane 6, and I've got in lane 5. So, yeah, I'm going to be chasing him. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Now we're just going to watch a little bit of TV, and uh, then we're going to sleep. And, yeah, I'm running it tomorrow at 17.30. So, see you then. Just kidding, 17.45. See you then. Good morning guys, we just woke up and my phone does not work. As you can see, it is blinking, but nothing happens. And uh, yeah, I really need a phone. So now we're just going to go eat some breakfast and then I'll go and buy a new phone. <laughs> and we ate some great breakfast with Marcus Thompson before Carson got his first birthday song of the day. <laughs> so I'm just watching some reviews and I think I'm ready to go and buy a phone. <laughs> I went on a trip to the shopping center and found something fun on the way. It is snowing. Ah, scheiße. Okay guys, so here we have my current phone. 
it is currently not working. This light is blinking, but I cannot turn it off. I cannot turn it on. I got all my tickets on my phone, my bank messages, time schedules, YouTube comments on my phone. I really needed a new phone. So here is the new phone. The moment we're all waiting for. Yes. Yeah, now Frederick is here. So we're just going to chill. Um, until lunch, see you then. Yo. Three and a half hour to competition. So we're gonna eat. After leaving a little birthday wish, we ate some lunch, packed our bags, relaxed a little bit before we headed to the stadium. And we are running in 1 hour and 30 minutes. And this is the track right here. Evan has gotten lane 6 and I'm going to be chasing him in lane 5. Turn the lights up in there. Mindset from Gulard, so uh, in Russland. But now we have focus on 200 meters. This is Mathias Hove Johansen, who will go to Bane 5. Good middle distance loper. This is Bane 6, Evan Mindset. 21.36 på 200 innendørs. Der gikk Stund på den, det siste hittet på 200 meter. Og Mindset, han har rappet til fra start han. Det er vel de to ytterste banene der. Mindset og Hove som eh, kjemper hardest. Ja, strålende start ja. på Evan Mindset som var årets norske mester på 60 meter. Her blir det kamp helt inn. Hove Johansen er faktisk foran når uh, målstreken brytes. Rutt 21 der da. Ja, eh, Schalg-løperen Hove Johansen er en 200 meter spesialist etter hvert, og trakk det lengste strået her. Det har nok eh, kanskje skortet litt på treningsgrunnlaget for Evan Meinset. 200 meter ble litt langt i dag, og det var en litt av start her i Evan, og, og, og fyrt at Hove Johansen faktisk gikk på etterskudd, men står distansen litt på bedre da Schalg-løperen. It was an exciting race and I won in 21.40. Last year I got second in 21.77, so this is a big improvement. After the competition I had to provide a urine sample just like the national championships. This time I used about two hours and drank about two and a half liters of liquid. Nice. This is one of the probably five times Karsten got to hear the happy birthday song sang to him today. What do you think? Good. 
<laughs> Good morning guys, now we're, we're checking out of the hotel, we're going to eat breakfast and then we're taking the bus, bus to Olsund. Hell yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. The meat was amazing, great atmosphere, and it was fun celebrating Kirsten's birthday. Uh, a couple of pretty funny things happened during this trip. I got to meet Sam Kendricks during the doping test. <laughs> After the 200 meter, I actually fell. It sadly didn't get on television, but here is a little video. You can see me falling here and I had so much lactic acid in my legs and when I dipped forward I had no chance of <laughs> getting up again when the uphill turn came. I got a couple of scratches here and there and um, yeah, I actually my wrist kind of hurts a little bit still. So I had a hard time getting my bag on my back for a couple of days. <laughs> If you haven't already, check out Evan Mindset's vlog right now. I'll put a link here or down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. See ya! What do you hope? <laughs> Eat some. <laughs> and he's gonna lay.